What if I told you that you can actually use Vision OS on your Quest devices? Well, kind of, but look at these. They're the same. Spatial computing on the MetaQuest 3 for a fraction of the cost. With media, chatting, multitasking, working. And the cool thing is that it works surprisingly well. So how is this even possible? Hey, they here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So we're not talking about a new operating system for the MetaQuest 3. That one will remain the same. There's no need for jailbreaking, ADB, sidequest, or modding. It's all super easy because it's directly on the store. Because all of this is actually possible thanks to an app. It's a special app because special computing. The idea here is easy. The app is based on Unity and is all based on the browser. And all the apps that you actually see that you can open and everything are not actually apps like the one that you download on your phone every time, but these are different apps actually leveraging the power of the web apps. Because yeah, they look like apps, they feel like apps, but you don't have to download them, but they will run directly on the browser. And many important websites already have them. So that's why here we can have YouTube, YouTube Music, Disney+, Plus, Discord, Gmail, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, Amazon, Amazon Prime Videos, Google News, HBO Max, Pinterest. Well, yeah, you got the point. So yeah, the idea of this app is to actually try special computing. The very cool term that we have for the Apple Vision Pro on the Quest 3. Is it actually emulating the operating system? Well, not really. Of course, Vision OS has so much more functionalities. Over here, we're still interacting with the browser. So the thing that we can do are, of course, limited. But as we said, it's surprisingly powerful for media consumptions, apps, and well, you know, even some work, it's completely fine. And it's just nuts to me that this is possible with an app and not from Meta directly. But I digress, you can download it already. It's on App Lab, by the way, and it's not free, it's actually $9.99. Uh, but we're gonna see it together and see if it's worth it or not. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I saw it in the list and I was like, uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, I'm making a video about it. It's pretty cool. So let's get in it, shall we? And here we are on a Vision OS. Well, sort of on <laughs> the spatial app. As you can see, the menu is pretty much the same and the look and feel of everything is pretty much the same. Uh, with the same bar, the same way to close it with a little X, the same way to actually resize the app that can be resized as you want. It will take a bit, but it works. And you can have multiple apps around with no real limit. You know, it's just if you open a new tab on the browser pretty much, but it doesn't feel like it. Because as we said, these look and feel like app with even like fast uh, toggles to actually go home or just a uh, look at your history, look at your uh, subscription over there on YouTube. Uh, you can chat with ChatGPT. you can look at Google News directly and everything is pretty snappy and absolutely usable. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, what you have over here in the palm is actually your menu. Here we go. Uh, your menu, uh, that is, as we said, like a Vision Pro, you can't actually even like change the order of the icons. You can actually change anything. That makes it very Apple uh, indeed. Uh, but these are the apps that you see. Uh, you have to close it over here. And we also have an addition that are the widgets. Like we have the calculator, the timer. So, uh, you know, if you don't wanna go too long with uh, our video, you can put six minutes and uh, we have the timer there. So I know that I don't have to go too long. Uh, the cool thing too is like, if you wanna watch videos or something like that, you can have the cinema mode enabled. Uh, that means that every other app will disappear and the pass through, hold on the timer is in the way, uh, the pastro will get a bit darker and more moody. I don't know why the timer remained this time. Here we go. And uh, you can just enjoy your trailers, your videos and everything. I mean, it looks very good. If you don't want to have uh, the hands on you all the time with the pastro, you can just pinch uh, on the start button and uh, yeah, 
and no way to interact with anything. You can just enjoy what you're doing. Also, because you can use remote desktop, and that's pretty cool, is actually one of the apps, so you can use your PC directly in here, like you're doing also on Vision OS, and you can actually use a, an external keyboard to interact with things and write faster, because even if we have a keyboard that is the same, let's get out of cinema mode, uh, keyboard that is the same as Vision OS, as a static, and it works like, like in Vision OS, like touching or just, uh, you know, clicking on it. We don't have uh, the eye tracking, of course, on the Quest 3 um, is always very slow and shitty. So it's actually so much better to write directly over here. You are on a video. Say hi to the awesome people watching, please. Be nice. Let's click on it. Hello, some people. It's great to be here. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's make this time together amazing. Uh, that's a great thing, ChatGPT. Thank you so much. Let's close it. Bang. Let's close this one too. Actually, you can touch the keyboard, but not all the other windows that are gonna stay in place. As you can see, but they're not touchable, so you can just interact with it, or as we said, with the controllers. Uh, so uh, let's go back here. Uh, you can watch movies, as we said, you can open all the different apps, and you can even run different apps at the same time. As you can see, we have the timer there. Uh, we have a video going. We have a video going on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> we can <laughs> start a lullaby uh, because <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, we're using lately for little Zaki. And uh, yeah, it's not the snappiest on everything. Uh, of course, we start to see the limitations of the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, but look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Is it our perfect though? Well, uh, not really. Of course, we're still talking about a beta over here. We're talking about an app that tries to emulate an entire operating system. So yeah, there are gonna be some limitations. As we said, it's not possible yet to actually add apps that you want to it. Even going through the browser, there's no way to add that as a web app. As in Vision OS, there's the support for the keyboard, but not for the mouse. So uh, when you use like a virtual desktop, for example, uh, it's kind of hard to interact with it. It would be nice to be able to use both at the same time because Quest OS actually let us do it. The official remote desktop app uh, doesn't work very well. I guess they know it. There's a Chrome extension one as an option as well, but also that one is not perfect and uh, not great for multi-monitors like I'm using, for example. Scrolling apps is kind of slow. You really have to scroll quite a lot to go down in the list. Also, another thing, there's kind of a limitation of making the app too big or too small or too close to you or further away uh, you don't have the same liberty it doesn't feel as smooth as on vision OS so you actually have to move some time from your chair to actually do it but it's fine it's a special app so you should use your space and of course the app is not free it's actually 9.99 on app lab directly is it worth it? Well, I think it's a very fun thing to have for me, having the Vision Pro at home and just comparing the two, looking at the two at the same time. It's kind of crazy as we can get this experience on an app instead of the, you know, Quest OS directly. Um, multitasking is there, but it's just limited to three apps at the same time. And it feels like a bit constricted. Over here, you can actually place things everywhere and they're gonna stay in place because the tracking on the Quest 3 is actually very, very, very good. It's a very curious app to have. I don't know if uh, it's actually legal to have something that is exactly like same uh, as another operating system, uh, but it's on App Lab, so you know, it's not a really meta fault uh, on that regard. Uh, it's just crazy that we can have a, a kind of a similar experience of what we have a Vision OS uh, even on our Quest 3. We don't have the same power of the M2 chipset. Uh, we don't have the same resolution. We don't have the same, you know, uh, functionalities with the eye tracking to, you know, interact with the menu and everything. But 
it feels very, very compelling already. And to be honest, I can see myself work uh, doing emails and something like that on Quest OS with the special app as much as I'm doing on the Vision Pro. Would I recommend going out and buy it? Well, it's your money, it's up to you. I found it funny and uh, I put my money down and uh, I don't know how many times I'm gonna use it, but it's pretty cool to have it there. But anyway, guys, what do you think about it? Do you like this idea of actually having a Vision OS on the Quest 3? Or do you think that Vision OS is actually a fuzz? And uh, why would I want it on my headset that actually runs games? If you find it interesting, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like it, please like. Subscribe to the channel for all of your tech and all this crazy stuff. i see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Ciao.